Hi guys, welcome back to this amazing channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Robi Masaga and today I want us to discuss about this story that has been trending uh, here in Kenya. So there's this guy who's been claiming that he was abandoned by his uh, adoptive parents back here in Kenya. According to him, he was born and uh, raised in America. He was born in America, then uh, went to a foster home, then later was adopted by these people who left him back here in Africa. Um, according to this guy, he says that one of the parents, I, I think the dad, he's Kenyan. So they had come to Kenya to visit the mother to, to, his, uh, to his father. The mother was, uh, was ailing, so they had come to see her. And when they were going back to America, the parents left him, uh, now these people who had adopted him, left him at the airport. And this guy has never uh, has never heard anything from those uh, from those people ever since. Yeah, they came to Kenya in 2020. It's been four years. They left him when he was still a minor. He was 16 years now. He's 20 years. So they left him here here in Kenya. They abandoned him. Yeah, they didn't care how he would survive. The guy ended up on the streets. And right now he's working in a dump site. I have a lot of questions so many questions yeah i have so many questions to ask but first let me show you the video then um uh, yeah let me know in the comment section what do you think about this story now name what's your name my name andy ernie yeah from which states of the united states of america <laughs> <Where are you? laughs> uh -huh. which states from the united states mm -hmm. I, I, I was living in alberta first mm. then uh after two years i went to Ca i went to california mm -hmm. To California, we came on a vacation around. Mm -hmm. That was the last state I ever lived in. The last state was Cal yeah, Cal California. Cal Cali, Cali. Uh huh. Then you came to Kenya. Yeah, I came. How did Kenya. you get yourself in Kenya? We came on vacation with my parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. And where are your parents? <laughs> I don't even know where they are right now. You came for a vacation, and then your parents left. Yeah, they just left, and then. Uh, you know what, what happened? I found this nigga in the street, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, what, "What the fuck are you doing alone there?" Mm -hmm. so, so you know we can do some, you know, walk in, you know, dump area, so we can find something to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, even me, I can speak English, man. You know, man. Mm -hmm. me, and where, where, where are his parents? His parents, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We are get this nigga in the street, mm -hmm. and we just start talking. Hey, why, why are you so alone? He like, he, he don't know where his friend go went. What so, happened the last time you were you were with your parents? We were supposed to go to the airport and mm -hmm. go back to. You know, California, mm -hmm. and then I don't know what happened, man. Mm -hmm. We were in the taxi, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, I found myself alone. Mm -hmm. They just left. I've been trying to reach out. Mm -hmm. All the social media accounts are like locked, they don't work no more. They don't work no more, yeah, I don't work no more. So, that's how you found yourself here. Um, this guy brought me here, they found me on the street, and they told me I'd come walk on the damn side. Mm -hmm. And I say, if it was gonna like give me something to eat daily, mm -hmm. I would come around. Mm. Been here for four years. Have you, ever, have you ever looked for your parents? I told you I've been trying to look for mm. them on social media. It mm. don't work. It doesn't work anymore. Yeah, I've been trying to call the embassy. It don't work no. Mm -hmm. It's like nobody knows me over there. Mm. I was born in Alberta. My thought though, because mm -hmm. I was young, mm -hmm. and I started in a foster home. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't like born in some fixed family. Mm -hmm. So I lived there till I was around seven years. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I was used to that life. Mm. And then at seven, I was, um, some people came around. Mm. Some guy who was, um, looked like he, he had a dark complexion mm -hmm. with a lady. Mm -hmm. And I think they were looking for a kid. Like when they can live with a home, I think they had problems with their home. Mm. They had two kids. I mean, I came to find out later they had two kids in their place. Mm. But then, yeah, they weren't a third. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How old were you when you were left behind? I think right now I'm 20, yeah. so that was 16. 16 years old. You gotta be 16. Uh -huh. Yeah. Was life hard for you? Where did you exactly? have any money? Where exactly? When, no, when they left you, did you have any money, any place to go? I didn't have anything at all mm. when they left me. Mm. How I, like, did you survive that Life day? was so hard. Mm. First week, mm. um, I was almost giving up, man. Mm. I mean, people were treating you roughly, and you know, like I look like I'm one of them. Mm. So they're like, this, this, this dude is just making everything up, and you know, mm. like I had to sleep outside in the streets in the cold, and mm. yeah, so uh, I was just like, let's say, a street boy. 
like I said, I have so many questions to ask. And my first question is, if it's true, this guy was born in America, if it's true he's American, why hasn't he visited the embassy yet? Because right now he's old enough to visit the embassy, tell tell them their, uh, his story, and they will they will be able to help him because they will be, they, they, they are in a position to trust back, yeah, to look into uh, his story. They will be able to tell wh whether whatever he's saying is true or not. Why hasn't he visited the embassy yet? Another another thing is why did his parents abandon him back here in Africa? Why was he a troublesome kid? Maybe that is why they opted to leave him back here in Africa. Had he done something wrong, and they didn't want maybe to get him in trouble back back in America? Yeah. Why did they have? Why did they choose to leave to abandon him here in uh, here in in Africa without caring how he, how he would survive? Yeah, because the guy ended up on on on, on the streets. And right now he's working in a dump site. They didn't care about that. Yeah, clearly they ruined his life. If whatever the guy is saying is true, they ruined his life. Yeah, he didn't even finish school because of that. Also, is he a lost kid back, back in America? Because if he was abandoned here and he's not Kenyan and he's not even African, if he is American, it means he's a lost kid. Yeah, and maybe even the case might have been have gone cold just because. Um, uh, the police didn't know how to solve it. I feel something is not adding up. Maybe he's not telling us the whole truth. Maybe he's with, uh, withholding some information yeah, to protect himself. I just feel something is not adding up. And if whatever he's saying is true, um, clearly the guy is not Kenyan. He's legally American and he's illegally in Kenya. He doesn't have proper documentation. He cannot even work here in Kenya without those documents. So the only option is for him to go to the embassy or to go to the police and report those people who left him back here because those people are criminals. Let's not forget about it. If whatever he's saying is true, those people are criminals. They need to be in jail because whatever they did to him was not right. Yeah, They messed up with his life. He, the guy didn't even finish school. The, right now he's surviving in a dump site, struggling back here in Kenya, and the guy is illegally from, from America. And I repeat, if at all whatever he's saying is true, the guy is legally American. He might be a lost kid. If they decided to leave him and he hadn't done anything wrong, how cruel are these people? This only shows that we have people who are very cruel out there, people who don't care about other people's uh, life, other people's even mental health. They don't care because you leave someone in a foreign country without money, without even a way to communicate with anyone, without you caring and not forgetting that this person, is a, he was a minor when he was left back here. So the only well, the only way that he could survive was to go on the uh, on the streets. That is, that was the only option. Maybe at, at that time, because he was young, he didn't even think of going to the police. He didn't even think uh, to go and rep report the case. How cruel can some people be out here? These people need to be in jail. This case should not be taken um, lightly. This is a very serious case, and uh, and it should be looked into. Because if he's telling the truth, these people need to be in prison. They need to serve many years in prison because whatever they did was wrong. And if at all this guy is only chasing clout, then whatever he's doing is very wrong. Because we have people who have been affected in a similar manner out there, yeah, who, who, who have never found justice. So if at all he's not telling the truth, then he's, he's doing a very big mistake. Yeah? This is not something to joke about. This is not something to cloud, uh, to cloud chess with. Because people have been affected. People, we have people, um, so many people out there who are victim, victims of similar stories. But if he's telling the truth, then this matter should be taken seriously. It should be looked into. Yeah, He might be a lost kid back in America. Maybe they've even assumed that he, he was unalived. Maybe those people who abandoned him back in, Af back in Africa, maybe they're still living their life as, it, as if nothing happened. 
whatever they did to him was wrong something else the guy said that he doesn't want to go back to america his reasons were he doesn't have anywhere to go to which is making a lot of sense yeah because right now america is a foreign country to him because he's lived in kenya for four years now and he doesn't have a family to go back to uh, uh, at the moment yeah the only family he knew was the one that abandoned him back here in africa so clearly if he was to go back to america today he doesn't have anyone or anywhere to go to but if whatever he's saying is true and he went to the embassy i'm very sure these people will be able to even help him start a new life in america if at all whatever he's saying is true so why is he saying that he doesn't want to go back to america and that is why i'm saying if at all he's chasing clout with this story whatever he's doing is very wrong because we have people who have genuinely gone through the same and they've never found justice this case should be looked into because there's so many questions that are not uh, have not been answered yet guys what do you think about this story do you think the guy is telling the truth or is he only chasing clout with this let me know on the comment section yeah remember to subscribe share and also leave a like let's meet on the next episode